Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to another lesson. Today we are going to do other ideas too, right? And we're going to do it in key F. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. F major. What we do in other ideas is this: like we don't follow a song. We normally look at some broad ideas that we can use in our play. If we think it's nice, we just take it and we apply it in our play. Very good. So I'll give the idea. If you think it's nice, just take it and use it in your play. So I'm going to do a very simple progression: six, two, five, one in key F. Six, two, five, one. And we'll look at how we can use some very nice chords. We we'll start from a very basic perspective as we're going forward. We will enrich the chords. Six. We're playing a D minor. Left hand, right hand. To our two, G minor seven. G minor, G minor seven. Just repeating some notes on the left. You can look at the notes on your screen, and we will uh, go forward, right? Five, we're playing a seven, right? A seven chord, C seven chord, which is our dominant seven two, our one great C seven. We're just bringing the E here and G great to the one. Very good. Let's do it again. Okay, very simple. Now let's look at how we can enrich our chords. Probably we're going to change some few stuff as we go forward. So let's play a minor nine, D minor nine, D minor seven. We add the nine, repeating the F and the A. Right hand, left hand. Then let's change this to a G seven. At first we made it a Minus seven. Now play the B, so it becomes a G seven. Great. Then another option we can use is the C nine. It's just like we're adding the nine to our C seven chord we already built, right? Good. Normally when we are on our one, people are like, okay, what can we play on the one? Do you hear the guys doing some of these moves? Another very good option that we can use, right? Uh, the next one that we're going to do is probably we change the six to a flat seven. A very nice option, and let's play a chord like this on it. Mm, okay, so we have uh, E flat major seven sharp eleven thirteen sus two. Okay, we can just look at it as F thirteen. It's like we have F7, and this is going to be our 13. Great. And we're bringing the E flat to the bass. Right. We have F and D. We take it to the right. And we just repeat A with a grace note. That's what I was doing there. Or you can just say it's. E flat major seven sharp eleven thirteen so to if you're a fan of some of these stuff. So E flat major seven sharp eleven thirteen. We don't play this, we play that, so it becomes our source two. And probably we're taking out the B flat, which is our five. It doesn't really affect the name that much. So we have this. We already know how to voice it. Right? Then our two, let's play something like this. A minus seven flat five. It's like you just have your minus seven and you bring this five down. It's very nice option you can use. Now five, we play something like this. So a C seven flat nine sharp eleven. Great. We have a tried one on our left, then a diminished seven on our right. Very nice. 
this option right let's look at the code right away i know line seven flat line is going to be like this we've looked at this several times <laughs> all right then uh this is my 11 i play sharp on it and i'm bringing the e and g to my right right e g to my right i take them off from here right so this is how i'm getting the chord then to my one i can do something like this right great there's another option that we can use mm -hmm. then you don't always have to be like you're waiting for that beat to come before you strike that chord sometimes you can just play some things to connect to them which maybe they serve as passing chords so so i'm using this e minor to connect to this great mm. a very nice option right then i play this right then probably to my five i change it i make it a c augmented 13 right if you think this one too is nice you can just take it left hand right hand the augmented third means it's just a sharp five so it's like we have a c7 and 13 and we don't play the five we play a sharp five so that's how we're getting the chord we bring in the b flat e and a to our right hand B flat E A. Then we're left with this on the left. Then we can end with major seven. Something like this. It's also a very nice option that we can use. Great. Alright, now let's see. Maybe we want to be playing some uh, cool stuff like some passes here and there. I'm going to do something that will lead to our two, right? And if you think it's nice, you take it, right? Playing this. Then I'm using this as my two. Great. I'll break it down, don't worry. Then my five. Mm, this chord is very special. We look at why we're saying this chord is very special. Left hand, right hand. Then we come to our one. Great. Two, five, one. Great. So what am I doing here? Is it G13? I'm just using the B as my base. So it's like I have my G7 and I throw my 13 there. Very good. And look, we have a B and E in the chord. So I bring B, E to my left, then G. I hold it with my left. Great. Then I repeat the B, and this is in the chord, and that is in the chord. Great go to E diminished 7 left hand right hand a very simple chord so I'm using diminished right I change to a minor G minus 7 very good we've learned this chord I'm just voicing it this way then I come back to my diminished 7 great very nice move <laughs> then my 2 I'm playing a G9 flat 13 mm, okay some people will be like okay it's not mm, maybe they don't want it so you can also play a G9 okay or you can just play G13 I think I will go for a flat 13 yeah, it gives you that mm, sound I don't know why I like some of these sounds <laughs> all right so I'm having a G9 as this right and I have my 13 I just play a flat on it so this is how I get the chord and I have a, a G D and F on my left hand great and I'm left with these notes good I repeat F and D this is how I'm getting the chord then my five I play this mm, E augmented 9 sharp 11 this augmented 9 sharp 11 is a special chord uh, in music there are other special chords maybe sometime we'll look at them but today let's look at this this chord is very special it doesn't change it's always going to remain augmented 9 sharp 11 <laughs> there's a principle behind it uh, it doesn't really matter if we look at it from 
a C perspective is like that or we change the C we put the C here so we make the D the base it remains like that we change the position of D and we put it here we make E the base it still remains an augmented nine sharp 11 why is it like that okay let me explain this is what we do here we give the clue and uh, we try and understand what is happening there okay this chord is in two folds this is the first one we look at the second one very soon so the chord is just based on whole step interval look there's a whole step this whole step then this is whole step away from from e right then whole step whole step and there's a clue it's like you're playing the white keys then the black keys ah, very nice great okay so with this you change the position it doesn't affect the chord it always remains the same it's a very special chord that's why i really want us to look at it yeah so sometimes you can just tell some of your friends that oh okay i know a special chord an augmented nine sharp 11 great if we change the c and bring it here it still remains whole steps right whole step whole step whole step whole step whole step we change Whole step, whole step, whole step, whole step. So it just remains like that. The other uh, one is this. So we play these six, right? Then the other six is like this. Great. So we have a D flat augmented nine sharp eleven. If we change the position, it still remains the same. Great. Very special chord. Right. Let's move on. I think it's enough explanation great or I can make it a major 13 and F 9 then I throw my 13 and just repeat some notes great very nice option now let's look at another one uh, that we can probably do on our 6 we know this already right so we're going to our two. Maybe we can just play a passing of this to that. Mm, okay. So we look at this. It's a G flat major seven sharp eleven thirteen source two. Or you can just look at it as a very simple F minus seven flat nine. It's like you have F minus seven, then this is your nine flat nine. We're just repeating the F. And we're taking the G flat E flat to our left. Great, and we left with these notes. Good. Then we use it to go to our two. Very nice. Sorry. Great. You can say it's, it's also G flat major seven sharp eleven thirteen source two. If you're a fan of some of these names. Yeah. So it's like you have a G flat major 7, then this is our 11, sharp 11, then we have our 13 there, great. We don't play this, we play that, so it becomes our source 2, and we're, we're taking the 5 off, because it doesn't really affect the name, good, this is how we get the chord, we already know how we voice it, good, to this G minus 7, right, we're going to play our 5 as this. Mm, people be like, okay, but where is the five? There is still the five in there. We look at it. So left hand, right hand, then we can go to our F major seven in piece, right? Good. So I will do the move again. Great. Then to my five, then to my one. Great. You can look at this as a G flat minor seven flat thirteen flat five or probably a D9 or I would say it's just a C69 sharp 11 right so we have our C69 then this is going to be our 11 sharp 11 
the reason why I'm saying this is a five is look. Da, 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 this is our five in Kiev. One, two, three, four, five. So I see this chord as a five and I'm just voicing it differently. Great. I'll show you how I'm voicing it. So I have a D and G flat in the chord. I just take it to my left. D, G flat. Great. Then I repeat the G flat. And probably I'm just left with these notes. Uh, G, E, A, N, this. But I choose to just take this off, right? Because it doesn't really affect affect the naming that much. So if you think this one is nice, then you just take it and use it, right? We're going to look at the last option that we can use. Then probably we'll see how we can mix some of these things that we've learned. So you don't have to follow one pattern, right? You just mix them up and you think, you think uh, maybe this pattern matches with that, then you just mix it and you see that it really sounds very nice. Okay, so the last one we're going to look at is like our six. We played it like this, right? D minor 9. Let's change the bass note to this. So we're using the 4 as our substitute for our 6. Right? Very nice chord. So we're like, mm, okay, what is that? We have a B flat major 7 sharp 11 source to left hand, right hand. Or you can just look at it as a very simple F major 11. Right? throw your 11 in there and we're repeating the F and A great we're bringing the B flat to the left we understand the chord now or you can just say it's a B flat major 7 sharp 11 sauce 2 so it's like we have a B flat major 7 this is our 11 sharp 11 we don't play this, we play that, so it becomes our sauce So this is how we get in the chord. We already know how to voice it. Great. Then I use this as a passing to my two. Oh, okay. We've learned this chord before, I think in previous lessons. So we have a seven flat nine. A way I know, right? Seven flat nine is this. <laughs> the clue is there. You can just check the uh, previous lessons and you see it. Great. Then I'm bringing the E here. Great. And A flat is repeated. I put A flat on the bass. Then I use it to go to my two. Very nice, baby. Great. Then I'm going to play my five. Great. I can play something like this. C13. If you think this is nice, you can just play it like that. Bring it to my one. Okay, so we're taking it from here. Bring it to my five. Bring it to my one. Very good. Okay, so let's look at it. Okay, so this is also another option. If you think it's very nice, you can just take it and use it, right? So you don't have to follow the patterns that I've given you. You can just mix it. Now, what do I mean? From your six, you can just go to your two like this, or we learned, right? Then to our five, something like this. We've learned that. If you think it works, then you just use it. Or probably I go to this, then I use this as my passing, then to my five, and to my one. So you see, you just move in between these stuff, right? Or maybe I just play this 
right? Then to my five, to my one, going. When I play this, then to that, then to this, we learn to the C augment thirteen, great. So you just move within these uh, stuff that we've done experiment for yourself and see the one that really works for you right mm, i think it's good we end here and next time we continue other ideas we will look at some other options that we can uh, use on the instrument to enrich our play thank you very much for being here and uh, keep practicing enjoy music see you in the next one bye